Hello and welcome back to Off-Road Yota Exploration. My name is Kai and this is my 2017 Toyota Tacoma. Today we have to change out a CV axle, but we're also going to have a look at what projects are coming up for the year. Sorry for the late start. I've had a lot going on in my life. I just had another kid, another boy. So now I've got two of them running around. And we'll also have a look at how we can fit two of them into the Tacoma. Let's go ahead with a walk around and we'll go on from there. So starting at the front, here I still have my the SR or SR5 grill, I'm not sure, in. I took out my custom car grills, grill so that I could clean it up and repaint it. It was getting chipped and stuff, so getting that all looking good again. For my headlights, I'm probably going to do a rebuild and put in a LED projector in place of the halogen one and then probably throw in a Squadron S1 for the high beam. So that'll be a cool project I'm coming up soon this year. I'm also going to do a separate video here soon for my upper control arms. These need a service. I'll be putting in a fresh uniball and also changing out the bushings in the back getting that all working good again. These have been on for over five years and about 75,000 miles. So they're due for a service. The Uniball is starting to get a little bit loose, but overall these have been very great. But I'll do a full review and rebuild of those. The tires are still starting to get worn down a little bit. So I'll be replacing those in the near future. Probably going to go up to 35, but before that, I want to re gear to 5 to 9 gears. And I'm still on the fence whether I want to add an air locker in the front from A or B. But I'll make a decision on that and we'll have a video on that going forward. Here we also have my camping trailer. I'm going to be doing a video on that seeing what we get into. We've got a couple of trips coming up this year where we'll be using that. I also upgraded my wife to a Highlander from a Subaru Crosstrek with the two kids. I just needed the extra space. So Highlander is awesome and we're full Toyota family now. So that's great. We've got some other few little projects in the works. We'll see those coming up this year. In terms of fitting two kids in the back with car seats. I'm 6'5", so putting a car seat behind me isn't, doesn't leave me with a lot of comfortable space. So we've got the two car seats on this side. A big one for my two-year-old in the middle. And then infant car seat on this side behind the passenger. There's also enough space on the other side to fit our dog. He's about 60 to 65 pounds. So you can sit there on the seat and still be buckled in. And there's also still enough space for the passenger to sit in here comfortably. And here we can see my CV axle boot has finally got a tear in it just from being at a more extreme angle it's been wearing out over time it looks like it's finally gotten a tear you can see the grease all over the back there so we'll be changing that out today and I'll be rebuilding these and then putting on some aftermarket boots to help with the more extreme angle. So let's get into it. Ok, 
Okay, so we've jacked this up. We're gonna jack it up quite high so that the fluid in the diff um, runs to the other side so we don't, it doesn't leak out when we pull out the axle. So what we're gonna do is remove it on this side, on the hub, and we're gonna loosen the bottom of the spindle and the low control arm and then take off the tie rod that way we can pull this out of the way pull the axle out of the hub and then we're going to pull out the axle from the differential um, there are multiple ways that you can pull it out of the differential there's a little clip that holds the axle in there um, they have a special puller tool which is a little rope that you can tie around it um, I don't have one of those, but I'm just going to try and use some winch extension and essentially do the same thing. So we'll see how that works and we'll go from there. So now we have the axle loose. So now it's just being held in the diff by this little clip here. This is the replacement axle that I have. Just a cheap one from O'Reilly's. And there's this little clip in here that's inside of the differential. And that's just the force that needs to be overcome to pull it out. So I'm going to use a winch line extension and wrap it around the end of the axle and try and pull it out with a hammer. So the trick worked using the winch line extension. Um, it was a little bit hard to get in a nice spot where we pull around. First I pulled the boot off, but then I got it tucked in nicely behind and I was able to get it out just with a few good pulls. Um, and then usually putting the new axle back in is a little bit of a struggle, but this one went in pretty smoothly. And so now we're gonna get everything buttoned back up and torque back down and then we'll be good to go.
So I went ahead and got everything torqued back down, got the wheel put back on, and I refilled some of the diff fluid, the gear oil. Um, the easiest way to do that is just make sure the vehicle is level, and then the fill plug is on the driver's side. You can fill that up until the gear oil starts coming back out of the fill hole, and then you know it's at the right level. So, got that job taken care of. I'm going to be rebuilding that axle with some new boots. They have some that are designed to take some more extreme angles. So I'll be trying those out. Once I get the parts in, I'll be pulling out the driver's side axle as well and rebuilding them both at the same time. So that brings us to the end of our video for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Get out there and explore, but don't forget to tread lightly. Cheers.